Following Labor Day, students across the Inokanapin School District will be heading back to the classroom for the start of what many hope will be a more traditional school year. This week, I sat down with Interim Superintendent Kate McGuire to talk about a wide range of topics. One of the first, her decision to come out of retirement to lead the school district this year. I am passionate about public education. I believe deeply that public education serves a purpose in creating an informed citizenry to sustain our democracy. So I'm a social studies teacher by trade. I'm really passionate about students um, being well educated for success. On the job front, the Inok Hennepin School District still has around 250 full and part-time positions to fill. In all, the district employs around 7,000 workers. Their recruitment team is busy working to fill those positions as quickly as possible. Of those 250 positions, a good number are regular education teachers and special education teachers uh, in particular. And a good number of them are paraeducators who also provide support in classrooms and support in operations across the school district. To say the last two school years were challenging is an understatement. The pandemic brought big disruptions to the way students learn and how teachers do their jobs. Administrators are hopeful that is all behind us. We are very much looking forward to a new normal. We have uh, full-time students, right, back in the spaces and teachers. Our uh, COVID types of protocols are still in place in terms of cleaning and ventilation uh, and uh, hand sanitizing stations and so forth. No masking requirements, right? We're kind of getting back to that normal of how do you, you stay home when you don't feel good and then otherwise you come to school, right? And take precautions that are appropriate. While students have been enjoying the summer off, construction crews have been busy making building improvements across the district. It's all part of the Fit for the Future referendum approved by voters in 2017. The project started in 2018 and will continue for two more years. A number of the Coon Rapids schools have been touched by facility improvements, either outdoor um, grounds and aesthetics improvements or indoor renovations and additions, for example, at Coon Rapids Middle School. I just toured that the other day, so I got in to see the new science rooms and the new classroom spaces at Coon Rapids Middle School. One of the final topics I discussed with Superintendent McGuire this week is extra help being brought in for students struggling with academics and social and emotional support. The district is using federal emergency relief funds approved during the pandemic. We know and we anticipate that as students come back to a school setting full time all year, that some students are coming back um, having been out of that pattern for a period of time. So we know that we've got work to do to build community, help students feel welcomed, build back that school climate and culture so students really feel engaged and connected with the adults around them. One other note, a big topic of discussion during the coming school year will be boundary changes that will affect students and parents at the elementary level. Watch for community meetings to learn more and provide feedback. The school board will ultimately need to approve any boundary changes. Have a great school year.